I wanted to show how we're going to be putting power locks, remote operated, into this Mustang. We're going to use this Dakota Digital Kit. Comes with all, comes with everything you need. Uh, this receiver should fit behind the kick panel. Comes with two remotes, wire. Uh, for reversing, we're gonna need two relays. It comes with those, and then these universal actuators from Blaupunk cost about six dollars. Whole kit comes with the rod you'll need, little uh, little clip to attach it to the factory, door lock rod. To get the door panel off, we need to pull the door handle. Uh, we'll need a 3 8 socket for that, and then. Uh, Phillips head to get the window crank off and I, I think this guy yeah this unscrews will we'll want the window up and then you're gonna want to use a, a trim remover tool to get the panel off uh, these things are damaged pretty easily you can see this one's already got some damage to it uh, the 50 year old cardboard doesn't really hold up doesn't like being tugged on um, so we'll try to get behind each individual clip and then and then pry it off. So there's more than one way, I'm sure, to uh, to mount these solenoids inside the door. Uh, what I chose to do on the passenger side was ended up right about here uh, on the opposite side, on the inside of the door, obviously. Uh, so I've marked where I'm going to need to drill, and with a with a punch, and it looks like I'm going to end up. Um, with a screw through that door tag, uh, which is not a big deal to me. It might be a big deal to you, but uh, I'm gonna roll with it. And so I'll drill the holes in the door. I think it's gonna be a lot easier to mount the solenoid and then route the, the rod, to actuate the lock rather than um, connect the rod and everything first and then try to uh, try to drill my holes. That's how I did it on the other side. And um, it was uh, it was kind of a pain in the ass the piece bent like this I think it's gonna work pretty good I pulled it back out to wire it up so with the kick panel off we find a good spot to drill a hole to run our wires through for me the easiest way to get the hole in the door is to drill from the inside we'll run the wires through this uh, loom to give it a good finished look when we're done so here's what it looks like inside the driver's door. Uh, everything's, everything seems to be working. Uh, I replaced the Phillips head screws with socket head cap screws so I could get them, uh, get them good and tight with an Allen wrench. Uh, hopefully that'll save them, save them from coming loose down the road. Okay, I have the receiver wired up with the relays wired up and attached to it. Um, channels one and two will be the lock and unlock. This kit has four channels, so I'm going to leave a little bit of extra wire on three and four in case I want to come back with a, uh, a trunk release or anything else. So I've just got my grounds, my wire for... Uh, positive off the battery and then my trigger wires coming uh, to channels one and two so I'm gonna wire it up to a battery test it out real quick make sure everything's wired up and working right before I put it in the car so here we go we're gonna try it out to lock and unlock there we go uh, everything looks to be working right so everything's mounted here behind the kick panel on the passenger side that's where I chose to put it So it should be nicely, uh, nicely concealed behind this speaker here when I get everything, everything back together. Seems to be working good. We're gonna lock, unlock, lock, unlock. Should be good to go.